home of trophies, Al Ahli Riyah Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you the top weekly news of the club of the century. So let's start with the headlines. A goalless draw against Pyramids. Al Ahli becomes the first club in Egypt and Africa to obtain the ISO accreditation. El Khatib heads Al Ahli's delegation in FIFA Club World Cup. Musimani, we can spring a surprise in the FIFA Club World Cup. Al Ahli extend the contracts of Diang and Hamdi. Al Ahli will take all the team squad to FIFA Club World Cup. Al Ahli women's basketball team wins first ever Egyptian Super Cup. Al Ahli were held to a 0 0 draw against Pyramids in the ninth fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. Though Al Ahli dominated the ball, Pyramids stood their ground and succeeded to block our attempts. The first half didn't contain a real chances for both teams. However, at the second half, we were streaming forward to score the opener. In the 52 minute, Ishahad got a yellow card after playing the ball with his hand, and the goalless draw went on. In the 69th minute, Musimani used his bench, and both Garaba and Bualia joined the game instead of a Sharif and a Shahad. Our most dangerous chance came from Bualia, who delivered ground crush to Garaba, but it was skimmed wide by Pyramid's defender. In the 77th minute, Bualia scored a goal, but it was disallowed by the referee. In the 84th minute, Bualia was about to score the opener, but Pyramid's goalkeeper deflected the ball out for the corner. Pyramids were about to score in the additional time as Donga shot the ball from the range, but Shinawi blocked it away and kept our net clear. The referee then blew his final whistle to declare a goalless draw. Al Ahli becomes the first club in Egypt and Africa to obtain the ISO accreditation. Al Ahli Sporting Club received the ISO accreditation certificate, becoming the first club in Egypt and Africa to obtain such a prestigious certificate. Al Ahli's president, Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib, was handed the certificate by the president of Near East Service and ES, Ithman Muhammad Osman, in the presence of several members of Al Ahli's board of directors and the club executive manager. Al Khatib heads Al Ahli's delegation in FIFA Club World Cup. Al Ahli's president, Mahmoud Al Khatib, will head Al Ahli's delegation that will travel to Qatar on Friday to participate in FIFA Club World Cup, scheduled between 4 and 11 February. Al Ahli head coach, Batsu Musimani, had an interview with the FIFA official website to discuss Al Ahli's participation in the 2020 FIFA Club World Cup, held in Qatar between 4 to 11 February. Musimani stated that all teams have equal chances in the World Cup, adding that Al Ahli players need to be at the best in order to present the continent and the country and all the fans in the best possible manner. Musimani praised the Qatari team, saying at Duhail won the Qatari league because they have got some excellent players who have shown what they can do. Musimani believes that the competition will be tough in the World Cup with the participation of Bayern Munich and Copali Pratadores winners. Al Ahli extend the contracts of Diang and Hamdi. Amir Tawfiq, Al Ahli Director of Marketing and Transfers, announced on Sunday that the team's midfielders, Aliou Diang and Hamdi Fathi, extended the contract to the club. Both players signed a two year contract extension, which will keep them at the club for the next five years. Al Ahli Director of Football, Said Abdul Hafiz, announced that all the team players would travel to Qatar for the FIFA Club World Cup, scheduled between 4 and 11 February. Abdul Hafiz added that the decision followed FIFA's amendments on the competition rules, which allows all teams to make changes for the finalists 24 hours ahead of the tournament and during the tournament itself. In the line with this amendment, the coaching staff decided to include all the players in the team's official delegation, heading to Qatar capital Doha to participate in the tournament. Al Ahli women's basketball team wins first ever Egyptian Super Cup. 
Eastern Company Hall witnessed a strong performance from our ladies, defeating Heliopolis 92-62 to in Tuesday in the final. Dina Amr, Kaya Thronton, Suraya Muhammad, Radwa Muhammad, Farida Wa El Anadain were among some of Al Ahli's key players in the game, who guided us to clench our first ever Super Cup title. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiyah Salam Stadium, I'm Yamna Atwa. See you next week.